What additional strategies can you use to increase your bags and AMP token? Well, one of the strategies is just to simply stake all of your AMP tokens that you accumulated over the course of the last year or so, so that you can earn rewards on those tokens and not feel like you have had major losses. Now, the types of losses that I'm talking about is really just in price depreciation. Not necessarily losses like you bought and you sold out and you lost. That's an actual loss. There is no return of your investment if you bought AMP token at 10 cents and then sold it at 5 cents and took a 50% loss because you knew or you felt or the charts were telling and indicating that from five cents it was going to continue to go down well it has hasn't it it has gone down and nobody could have predicted that today on september 1st 2022 and token would be at zero at 0 0.0062 of a penny. I do feel, and I've been saying, AMP token is gonna go lower. If Bitcoin starts to tread down, descend to like the 17,000 range, others are predicting 15,000, 12,000. If it was a worst case scenario and Bitcoin went to 9,000, you better believe that AMP token, because it hasn't been showing any recovery like some of the other altcoins, AMP token will continue to lose steam, will continue to hurt and bleed, will continue to get to lower lows, lows that I cannot predict. But I, if I had to just predict that if Bitcoin was sitting at 12,000, AMP token will be, a, will be at 0 .00. Five five or point zero zero four five of a penny, possibly even lower than that. So, I've been a bit greedy in terms of waiting. I almost pulled the trigger this morning and bought a thousand dollars of AMP token, but I did the difference that if I waited till it got to like point zero zero four versus point zero zero six, a thousand dollars worth of purchase of AMP tokens is. A substantial amount that difference is a substantial amount so I'm trying to dollar cost average into lower lows to get my total purchases to about a penny because I I only purchased amp token when it was between two cents and four cents and so I'm not I guess if it never if it never returns back to those prices then everything that I've invested in AMP potentially could be a future loss if I ever exited my position. But the type of loss that I'm talking about right now is really, it's, it's really not a literal loss. It's just a loss in the appreciation of the investment that I have made because AMP token has lost so much price over the course of the last 90 days. So I will still continue to take positions in AMP. I still think AMP token, in my opinion, and this is just an opinion, this is never financial advice. I only share what I do, how I'm doing it, and why I do it this way for educational purposes only. So I will still take larger, I still am planning to take large positions in AMP token. And this is the real, well, not the real. This is the reason why. The last two months, I've been researching more and more about what AMP is doing, what people are saying about AMP. Mr. Spalding came out, he did an interview, long interview, really just sort of giving clarity as to where they are at with the project. As many of you probably know, he has stepped down from CEO. The COO has become the new CEO of AMP Token. Um, and Spalding is taking 
a position with Flexa Network. He really wants to work on the technology of Flex and see Flexa succeed. Now, that all sounds great. I think his intentions are really good. I don't necessarily believe that even though he stepped down from CEO and wants to take a more direct uh, involvement with the Flexa network, that that is going to save AMP and uh, Flexa and that project. There is still potential for a lot of risk, meaning he can work hard, he can go into it with all 100% investment of time to ensure that he does everything he can on his end to make it work. But I think about, you know, Litecoin's founder, you know, when he said, oh, well, I sold all my Litecoin so that it can become more of a community-driven project. Well, this guy got extremely wealthy. He sold Litecoin over $200 a coin and look at where Litecoin is at now. So this kind of stuff can have a lot of effect. And that's why I love um, Cardano Ada because Charles Hoskinson really is much different in terms of his involvement with Cardano Ada than many of these CEOs who control the company more so than say the example of how I um, of how I shared with uh, or how Cardano and Charles relationship is to that community versus the AMP token community. So I know that sounded a little bit confusing. I was kind of losing my thought there, but um, all that said, I still believe in the project. I think AMP token could definitely have a huge, huge, I mean, I mean huge potential in the crypto payment system networks. And if it does survive the major squeeze that is coming, I think AMP token is going to be a token that none of us can predict prices, but definitely could be way up there. So um, who knows? I'm going to I'm going to enjoy the ride all the way through it. I'm just going to be very smart in these next 90 days. I'm being very cautious. I'm not investing much in crypto. Uh, I have quite a um, substantial amount of money to invest. I'm ready. I've been ready. I just haven't really pulled the trigger. I'm being honest with you. I'm not buying yet. I don't know if I'm going to end up missing out. There are so many uh, technical analysis people on both sides of the aisle saying, oh, it's going to go pump. It's, you're going to be too late. Da 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 da. Then I got a bunch of others saying, no, it's, um, it's going to crash. So who knows? I think it's going to crash. I think it's going to go lower. I think um, I'm going to wait for it. Hopefully I catch it. I catch it in a in a very good price range. And if I do, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be juicy. I am in it for the long run. I've said that before. I hope you are too. I haven't sold none of my positions in any of it. And I've been in crypto for three years. Uh, I've been I've been an investor in crypto for three years. I've been following crypto for five. Wish I had got in back in that time. But, you know, I don't regret anything. I was just being smart about it. I hope you are too. That's all I got for today. Stay strong, my, cri my crypto community. Stay strong, my AMP token uh, uh, army. And I'm telling you, one of these days, we're going to rejoice, hopefully. Or if not, one of these days, we're going to be in this video crying our eyes out because either AMP, AMP, AMP is going to get tested. <laughs> I know that. AMP is going to get tested. AMP has a long journey ahead of itself. But if they can do what they're promising to do on a large scale, create those big, huge partnerships once we get regulation, I think that's why we're still so early in the crypto game that if AMP token survives and is around and regulation begins to get clear for all of this stuff, I think AMP token's gonna be a very, on the at the top 50, I believe, 
Mam Token can make the top 50 in the crypto space. So hopefully we will be sharing amazing, uh, uh, what do you call it? We will be sharing the successes of this amazing cryptocurrency and who knows, we might see uh, AMP token exceed its, la its, its uh, all time highs of 14 cents two or three or four years from now. If you're not willing to wait that long, then maybe you are not you ought to not consider investing in AMP token. But if you are, who knows, maybe this will be one of those tokens that just makes us all wealthy. Keep well. Aquí el ladito de la sierra, a.k.a. Crypto Keeper. I do the research so that you don't have to. El Kikiri Kicks checking out. Take care.